Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Ape Man action camera. Kind of car related, yeah, kind of, kind of not. Um, this is going to be used for B-roll footage on my channel, hopefully. Um, I was looking for a GoPro, but I just haven't got GoPro money at the minute. Um, so I was having a look on Amazon and this popped up. Now this here is showing as number one on Amazon for GoPro when you search, okay? It isn't a GoPro, it's an Ape Man A77. But it's showing up as over, at the time of recording, over 1,300 five-star reviews. Full five-star reviews, okay? Average review, five stars. How can that be possible? 1,300. So, for less than 40 quid, I thought I'd give it a go. So this is the 8 Man A77. As I said earlier, this at time of recording has over 1,300 five-star reviews on Amazon with an average review of five stars. Crazy. Alarm bells triggered slightly at that point, but for, for under 40 quid, I thought I'd give this a go. So... With Prime, this turned up next day. It arrived yesterday morning, and I have had a quick look. Um, it's a 4K Ultra HD action camera, 20 megapixels on photo, uh, and it's supposedly 30 meters waterproof. Now, we open the box, and I'm going to go through all the camera and the accessories in a minute, and I will show you later on in this video some, um, some footage from this camera. However, there's one thing I want to get out of the way straight away those five star reviews so you open the box you get a nice little card hello from eight man you get an eight man user manual all good so far right you then get this little card and this little card is all about sharing your shopping experience on amazon and it says thank you so much for your purchase we really hope you would like our product. We invite you to share your shopping experience and leave your review on Amazon. This would really help them learn more about our product. We wish to show our gratitude with a small gift. Please choose one of them below. And then you've got the chart, the option of dual batteries and a charger. That'd be nice, right? More batteries and an external charger. A floating hand grip. Them are cheap on Amazon, I wouldn't worry about that. A selfie stick, nah. And a 16 gig Merco, I'm supposed to say micro, Merco SD card. Yeah, I'd go for the dual batteries and charger myself. Okay, let's see what we've got to do. I think you see where this is going, right? To get my dual battery and chargers. Sign into your Amazon account, enter your orders and find your order. Write your great shopping experience and it shows five stars underneath on what you are supposed to fill in. Email us with your order number and your customer experience link and tell us which gift do you want via. And then it gives me an email address, which is theexperience09 at gmail.com. Professional. The gift would be dispatched in about 10 to 20 days. Fine, so the five star reviews, let's get this out of the way now, are bribes, plain and simple. You buy the camera, you want something extra, give us a five star review, we'll send it out for free. Fair deal. Or is that something more, is that is that hiding true quality? There's potential there, isn't there? So there's a conflict of interest there between a good review and a freebie. I know I'm being a little bit negative about that, but I do think that is that's wrong and that shouldn't happen. I am I'm in two minds because let's face it, this camera would be awesome. It's the equivalent of having three cameras if I can get two extra batteries and an external battery charger. I haven't had a look on Amazon how much them are, but I, I suspect they're not going to be cheap. So that's going to be um, that's going to be something good. And I think something that probably should have come with this camera, but they've probably stripped it out for anyway. Okay. I'll let you make your own mind up about that. 
So let's get on to the Camry. So first of all, we open the box, we've taken all the gubbins out, and we see we've got a pretty samey looking action camera in a waterproof case, that's nice. It looks to have the standard mounting point for all like the GoPro and the universal action camera accessories, which is nice. I have some of them here as well, so we'll test that in a minute. Waterproof case with buttons and a nice big lens cover. And then the action camera itself. Now this looks very familiar. Two seconds. This was my first iteration of buying an action camera. This is the Vibe 1080p action camera from Argos. It was dirt cheap, to be honest. Now, I've just noticed something else. Maybe the battery's out of the other one will fit this one. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll give that a go. Um, however, this was £15 from Argos. 15 quid. How they can make an action camera for 15 quid and make profits, I have no idea. Um, but anyway, that one, the Vibe action camera, is dog crap. It is rubbish. The picture quality is horrendous. It is definitely not 1080p from what I've seen. I've changed all the settings, messed about with it. It makes jack all difference. It is a piece of crap and it lasts about two minutes on battery as well. So I thought about looking for something that was more 4K. Now I am only going to use 1080p footage, but my thinking being that 1080p on a 4K sensor it is going to cope okay, right? Whereas 1080p on a 1080p sensor, if that's what that is, is at the top of its game. So that, that was my thinking. And the reviews, honestly, the reviews sold me on this. But I didn't know about that at the time. So, in here you get the camera. You get the battery. One battery. No external charger. You charge it via the micro USB on the side. And you do get a large box of accessories. Now this is a massive positive for this. Look at all of this. All this for, for well, uh, less than 40 quid. So we take all of that out. We'll get rid of the box for now. We've got universal mounting points, mounts for like handlebars on bikes, straps like ratchet straps, a USB cable, uh, a screen cleaner and some some metal zip ties. Don't know why we've got them. More universal mounts. Some sort of crocodile clip. Another crocodile clip, but with a mount on there as well. I think these are going to be for some of the straps. Come back to that in a minute. Uh, universal mounts with the with the screws male and female on so we can mount them to things like tripods um one other thing i did want to mention we'll go through these in a minute in fact it's there it is there it's the exact same thing so with the vibe camera i got all of these little accessories here and these do fit so all the universal accessories will fit this camera And you get another one of them there. So that's a, that's a mount for, for the camera. Another little strap. Another mount. There's, there's all sorts of combinations you can do with this. Uh, a battery. So that's two batteries we get with the camera. A crocodile clip mount. A spare back for the housing for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. You get a spare back for the housing. And this is a really good nifty little feature. We get a remote control, wireless remote control. So it has two options. The red is for a photo and the gray is for a video. And if we press either of these, the remote lights up and we can, we can start the recording. And this comes with, if you see down the side, strap accessories so we can strap this to our wrist and we can press the button when this is mounted to something like a head mount or something like that so i have had a quick play with this uh, we'll go and do some more footage in a minute just just walking around and showing you do uh, certain things at different resolutions and i have found that on my laptop which isn't 4k bear in mind isn't 4k 
that the 1080p resolution is adequate for what I'm going to use it for on my YouTube videos. It looks very, very crisp, very sharp, a massive improvement over something like this. And I would say that it was on par with um, my camera on my Mavic Pro drone, which is also a 4K camera, but you can drop that down to 1080p too. And I would say it's on par with that. So for 35, 40 quid, this I would say is a really good buy for all of this stuff you get with it. The only thing you're gonna need to buy extra is the memory card. Now I've put in there a 16 gig SanDisk and that is showing as giving me around about an hour's worth of video footage or 2,000 photos. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. As I say, I'm only going to be using this for B-roll footage, so I don't actually know yet how long the battery is going to last or stuff like that. Um, I will try and find that info out and post an update video. But for me, this is actually a viable alternative if you haven't got GoPro money and you just want the, the camera for stuff like B-roll footage. Um, little bits of of, uh, of action footage going on. This is definitely something you should consider. And the fact that it fits all of the universal accessories from, from Amazon or, or Argos or whatever you want to buy them from, eBay, um, is an added bonus, to be fair. So, overlooking this, I would give it five stars. I would say this is that good. I'd say it's absolutely uh, perfect for the price and perfect for what I'm going to use it for. I am very happy with it. And if I see it go on deal, I know that's been a bit tight, but if I see this go on deal and I have seen it as low as £30.99, pence, so if I see this go down to 30 quid, I will definitely be buying a couple more. I do have to be honest, I think this spoilt the whole thing a little bit and it kind of it kind of cheapens it. This thing would get great reviews without having to buy them, guys. Um I went for eight man originally because I have eight man cameras in both of my cars. This is a recent 8-man dash camera I bought, the C450, and the footage off that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, dirt cheap. That was like 30 quid for a dash cam. You cannot go wrong. Um, and that was the reason I went for 8-man, because I, I do think they, they make some quality stuff. Don't cheapen yourselves. If 8-man ever see this video, get rid of these. Get rid of them. This is not good. Just just put, put the accessory in the box. Just give us a... a a dual batteries and a charger in the box or ship it alongside don't bribe people for a five star review because do you know what when people receive this after reading them five star reviews all of them five star reviews become absolutely worthless because you think you're buying people out so anyway enough said about that what I'll do now is I'll overlay some footage of me wandering around and I'll tell you which uh, which settings that are present on the camera because not only have we got resolution settings we've got things like um there is a fineness setting and a sharpness setting okay these are just high medium and low uh, we won't bother with the lows we'll go for the medium or highs in different combinations and we'll see the difference in the footage um i've had a mess around i can't really see a difference i have set it the only difference i do see is within the file size so i'll put some some uh, some sort of numbers around that as well So now you've seen the footage, this is a very, very capable camera at 4K and 1080p. The image stabilization 
isn't great but this is the lowest model that eight man do um, and i believe that that is sorted with electronic image stabilization in the uh, in the better versions um, stills stills are very good at all levels the video quality on this as you've seen is is great for the price to be fair to it it is it's head and shoulders leaps and bounds in front of this vibe camera um, them really are really really poor and I will be getting more of these to replace them vibe cams um, I was never happy with them for starters being picky the sound the external sound isn't great it's a little bit tinny it's a little bit raspy um, on the, on the playback but as again it's it's the it's the lowest model that eight man do and i've heard or i've seen that the later models the newer models do have an external lapel microphone in with them so i believe that that is sorted on the later models it's just a little bit of a pity that i didn't pick that up before i went out and bought it one final downside is this little remote now this was actually one of the things that i thought was amazing when i got it out of the box However, using it over the last day, it doesn't always seem to work. So you can click the button and it doesn't always register the action on the camera. Now that is a little bit of a problem if you're wearing it on something like a head mount because you've obviously got the camera up here. You press the record button, this bleeps, but the camera doesn't start. You sometimes have to press it twice. Now that's obviously a problem because if you press it twice and the first time did start, the second time will stop it. So again, it's a little bit of a problem that to be to be fair. The app that you get, which is DV King 4K, is absolutely awesome. Um, and doing them shots outside the car, I controlled everything, the changing of the settings, the lot through my phone. Um, so it just connects via Wi-Fi, and that is that is really good. Um, saves you having to use this at all. So thumbs up for the app. So overall, for 40 quid, you can't really complain. It's great for people who want to get into action cameras, their first action camera, or for people like me who just don't have the budget to go out and spend on three GoPros or even one GoPro. Um, so this, a great viable alternative for a GoPro, so long as you can overcome just them few minor niggles and irritations. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was top notch, give it a share. And if you want to see more of me, press subscribe. Don't forget, check out my Instagram at Ford underscore Ranger underscore Wildtrack. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.